Well, end of day three here, and with the man that uh, has steered the boat to three wins, no less, and uh, Chris, well, Chris, tell us um, how you went out and did it, because uh, what a great day. Well, I might have steered the boat, but it was the crew that brought the boat across the line, so let's put that in perspective. <laughs> I'm just trying not to slow them down as we're sailing around the course. Uh, yeah, great day. I think it's one of those days where you have to be... Um, happy about bringing three bullets in but then also realize that tomorrow is another day and we're gonna have to try and race as well as possible again it was uh, quite a hard to uh, race against the americans wasn't it because they had you in their sights all the time the whole day long uh you know between Bohr and myself and uh the other team members on that boat we uh we know each other very well we have a very cordial and mutual uh, relationship and uh, it's just great being able to sail against good friends out on the race course in a big fleet so uh, it's, a, it's a special kind of feeling to be out there and be sailing against us some of the best sailors in the world and once in a while being able to pull off a couple of bullets. <laughs> you seem to have the knack to find the right place to be at the right place and, and, and where the wind is going in the right direction for you. How do you do that? Oh, well that's a good question. It seemed to me I always thought the other guys were doing the same thing. <laughs> Um, you know, the thing is, once uh, after the first race, uh, we were lucky enough to win the race, and our closest competitors had uh, uh, the Z flag penalty, which gave him a 20%, which put us in a bit of a comfortable position points wise. So from then on out, we kind of said, like, okay, we're going to hang back, we're going to start close to these people, and uh, kind of see how the, the, the race develops, and then stay close to whoever is in front so it takes the pressure off of us and puts the pressure on them to try and gain back all those points that they lost it's quite hard at the start nearly 100 boats on the start line the, the temptation of course is to push forward and push forward you've managed to avoid that temptation yes uh, barely <laughs> i thought we were over in one of those general recalls and we pulled the tiller and went straight back down and to make sure they wouldn't see us uh, and luckily we weren't over, they didn't call us over. Um, but yes, uh, the temptation is there because if you do not have a front row start, it is very difficult to come back. And you know, more power to Bora and the team of Altea that uh, came back in that first race to finish second and sixth after a OCS. I mean, that just shows the quality of that team and how well they are sailing this regatta. Yeah, that was amazing to see. Absolutely, absolutely. Great sailing from those two guys. Well, halfway through, um, you've got a reasonable discard to get rid of still, so you're in a strong position. We are. You know, we're going to keep playing the game between these two teams of trying to stay in contact and not losing too many points on them. And whenever we feel strong about a certain shift, we'll take it and try and extend. Uh, you heard it from the maestro here. Uh, three wins. Well done, uh, Chris. A great uh, performance and uh, best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Tomorrow's another day of racing, so... We'll try and race hard again.